Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to another Loading Artist comic stream. Good morning. How's it going? Hello, hello. Uh, hold on. Is this camera correct? This looks pretty good. Oh, it's Jesus Christ. Loud. Loud music. Okay. Don't even think about it. And escape. In fact, just yesterday after the stream, <laughs> uh, I go to the other room. I'm like, oh, there's a leaf on the ground. That's interesting. I look over to the to the sliding door uh, window thing, and I see Pace is outside, ch chasing the leaves. <laughs> Whoops. Crazy. He, he He's big enough, he can manage to open the sliding door now. Unlocked it, pushed it, and everything. <laughs> no, he didn't, he didn't unlock it. But we have a like a gap like this big, just for a little bit of airflow in this summer heat, and uh, the the leaves in the wind were so enticing that he managed to just stick his arm out and just like push open the door. <laughs> uh, so now <laughs> we can't open the doors anymore, unless like unless we have like some tubes or something or stick to stop it from opening further. But yeah. Damn, they are strong. Look, she's working out. She's working out the guns already. Basically, the gym for them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, hello everyone in the chat. Good to see you all. We got Strike here. We got Nicholas Byer. We got Kawaii Artist. We got uh, Nick Duffy, the doctor in the house. Hello, that's the name right here, Mrs. Muffin. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Yodo, Xena Ranger, Gassum. Uh, Luckiest, hey, welcome back. TV Jake Jr. Uh, oh, let me unpause the alerts as well. Check this out. <clears throat> Come go down a bit. I pad $20 for internet on the plane right now. I'm sucking all the bandwidth by leaving Twitch streaming on my laptop. $20. Internet on the plane. I'm on a plane right now? Wow, I didn't think this would be possible until... Until, like, way later. Also, Dry Rays Girl rating. Oh my goodness, Dry Rays Girl. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome back. How is everyone? Bobby. Hope we had a good stream, Dry Rays Girl. What were we doing? Some art stuff? Look at this bee. Look at this bee. Steve Deluxe. Thank you for the 55 months. Need that dough, kitty cat. She needs it. Can't live without it. Um. Thank you very much, though. And also, yeah, it's a coma code. I'm on a plane. It's crazy. Is it unlimited internet, then? Having internet on the plane is still, is still, uh, is, uh, bunkers to me. I, that's still, like, new technology to me. I'm not used to it. Pretty nuts. Where are you headed? <gasps> oh. Excuse me. Unlimited, yep, but super slow. Well, that you're even ma managing to watch a push stream, that's pretty impressive. How's it called? Airplanes are a new technology to you, you old jerk. <laughs> Internet on airplanes. I'm I'm still used to, uh, what's it called? The phones they have on, on the planes, and then you swipe your credit card, and then you can make a phone call to, you know, to an outside line. You know, not just calling another another passenger on the plane. That's for free. Actually, no, it's not, it's not a call. It's a, you can message people on the remote. Like, oh, you know, 15A, hello, what's going on? <laughs> uh, but yeah, nuts. Nuts. Biscuit Monster, thank you for following. Hello, hello. Um, let's see here. Also, Ruffle Sal, morning from Australia. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning from New Zealand. It must be quite early for you over there. This is already early enough for me, even though I'm late. Sorry about that, by the way. Mm. Also, the power. Hello, good to see you. We also have a Jamam the Champ. Uh, Inakevs, hello. Hyper Caterpillar, hello. Uh, you know who? Error. <sighs> hello, hello, I like the name. There's uh, Sebi, hello. There you go, Wayne. Hello, welcome to the stream. A Psychomanity with a hundred bits. Psychomanity, what's this? Part two, the electric boogaloo. What is this? 
Hold on. Let's have a look at this. Curious. Her anus is fine. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Wait. How did that happen? Wait. Why am I back here? I, didn't, I, didn't I click this button? Okay, thank thank you very much, Jamamp. I don't know how that how that works exactly. It's supposed to send me back to this scene, not not the other scene. Okay. Now, where are you at? Psych humanity, where's your link? Your link is here. Let's check it out. <coughs> Alright. Got the very uh sad comic here. Got a little, little latte. Or an old, old cat. Oh no, the vet. Oh dear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Humanity. Thank you very much. Thank you very very much for desecrating the honor of my of my past cat. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my. I I I can't get over that Garfield panel. It's too good. Too good. Thank you. All right. <sighs> Quiet artist as well. Hello. Welcome back. Destroyed. Um, Soundstorm. Hello, hello. This little bee. Every time she sits over there, like I can, I can hear the the metal prongs of the of the of the blinds, and it's kind of confusing because the wind has been doing that sound by itself. So I keep looking, and it's like a false false alarm. Uh, she'll be very quiet. She'll like peer through, like she's like spying on the neighbors or, or something. And then like you know, sometimes I look over, and her whole head's sticking out. Gotta keep an eye on that. Worried about what happens when a bird flies past or something. She's gonna she's gonna jump. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Hey, I'm not Hollywood. That shirt? Oh, this this shirt? Oh, thank you very much. Made it myself. That's what I say when people compliment me on, on my shirts on the back whenever I'm outside. I say, oh, like the shirt. I'm like, oh, thanks, I made it myself. Well, sometimes I say it. But if I, if I, if I don't want to... If, if I'm just like... I don't know. If, if I feel like it's not going to go like, oh, wow, you made it yourself? That's cool. What What... What do you do? This is kind of good. If I know it's not going to be like that, I'm just going to be like, oh, thanks. And then just walk away. If I just get too shy or something. What are you, what are you licking? Licking the floor there. <sighs> also, luckiest bonus notches from Spain again. Man, today I finished reading every comic and bonus panel you have. It is amazing to see the progress you have made from the beginning. Keep going that way. Well, luckiest, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I know this one. Thanks in, sp in Spanish is Buenos dias. No, Buenos dias is good morning or good day. Not mercy. Mercy is French. It is Hey Siri, what is thank you in Spanish? In Spanish, thank you is Gracias. 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 That's what it is. I should have known that. Should have known. Okay. Well, anyway. Gracias. Buenos gracias. Um. So cute. Just chilling. Just chilling behind me here. My little paste. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's get to, to work, I guess. Uh, let's show off what we were up to in yesterday's stream, and that looks a little bit like... Oh god! Pixel artist! Looks a little like this. You're so cute! Hey, come closer. Okay. Alright. Um... <clears throat> The power of redeeming a focus. <sighs> as soon as I unpause these alerts. Well, hold on, let me just get ready then. 
Ruffles Sal, you wish you had a cat or dog or cat dog? I remember the cartoon. Cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Cat dog. Do 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 cat dog. I think that's how the theme song went. And I'm just loading up some some other stuff on the side here. I think I think Pace is looking at my mouse right now. Look at look at him how how invested he looks in the screen and what's going on. I think he's looking out for that spider. <laughs> if only you could type, huh? Yeah. Oh, it's got the alerts are poised. That's why it's not gonna it's not gonna happen just yet. But someone caught it. Um. What was it? Oh, yeah, I was just gonna get my Spotify ready. That's what I was gonna do. I'm gonna start the stream music stage channel thing. Call it Twitch Music. Start stage. Pause the the music here. Mute the music now and jump into Spotify and play a song like shuffle mode. What do we got? Shuffle mode. Mm, something kind of upbeat would be nice. Something upbeat like. Hey, where are you going? Hey! Don't go. Hey! Hey! Come So cute. Uh, uh, okay, what about... I don't know, what's this? A flume? Wait. Why is that not working? Hold on, hold on. Why is that not working now? Jesus Christ. I had everything working uh, last night. One second. If just jump over here for real quick. Oh, I see what happened. Let me see. Alright, no worries. I, I I can fix this later, but for now, let's do it manually. There we go. Not even a, not even a real thing here, but whatever. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> Okay, and now let's unpause and do some the focus, I suppose. Get back to okay, work. here we go. Let's do it. Get back to work. Okay, now, uh, oh, yeah, one more thing do this as well on the side here. Also, I hope the music is working well. Let me know if it's not. And turn off the sketch a little bit. And we start coloring. That's where we're up to now. Oh. He gone. Mm -mm. Filling in their mouths. Just waiting there, that spider. Yoyoto, first spider, 59th spider. I had a feeling it was Yoyoto that got that first spider. Excellent. Raren, welcome back. Hello, Raren. Got a new, new keyboard. Nice. What kind of keyboard do you have now, Raren? Also, thanks again for that sneaky resub last night when I was testing testing my new music stuff. Also, Jonah, just wanted to share that I got the B of your cartoons tattooed. Say what? Jonah? Or is it Yona? I think it's Jonah. Thank you very much for the five bucks, by the way. Goodness. Oh my goodness, wait. So much is happening right now. Dr. Anathix is... Is in the stream. Look, look at that new VIP. My goodness. Welcome, welcome back, Doctor Aneth. Doctor Anethics. How's it going? What's up, Doc? What's up? Hope you like your new 
very professional looking VIP. And, uh... So much is happening, Super Tux as well, hello. What's this? I can do- wait. Ah. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. First of all, that- that- that B tattoo. Don't think I- don't think, uh, I let that slip so quickly. I'm very keen to see it. Oh, Laser Gurk. Oh, that's you with the with the five bucks. Well, thank you very much, uh, Laser Gurk. And yet, yeah, definitely show that tattoo. Very cool. I don't even have I don't even have a tattoo. Was it? Also, it was throwing everything at me. Oh my god! Hold on. Thanks, Gomiko. Thanks for the booze. And now, Super Tux. What do we got here? I need, I need like, not just an alerts pause button, I need a Everybody leave me alone button. That's what I need. Especially coma code. <laughs> How can I share it best, Lazy Uh, you can either... Upload it. You can post it in the Discord, or you could upload it to Imager and send us the link. Or you can email me at gregor at loadingartist.com and I can have a look at it there. Also, Yoyota, you've got a question as well. Sorry, I'll get to that in a second here. Um, let me just quickly see what Super Tux has uh, in store for me here. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? One, two, three, pull! Oh. Raren gifting a sub to Laser Gurk. Thank you very much, Raren. Oh my goodness. Laser Gurk, congrats on that gifted sub. Which means you got access to bonus panels now, FYI. Thank you very much, Raren. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Just gonna, gonna pause the alerts for a quick second here while I have a look at this from Super Tux. What are you doing? I told you to leave the plants alone. Ah, forget it. Not like you understand English anyway. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Excellent. I love it. I love that the, the cat even looks similar to Garfield. Perfect. <laughs> uh, good stuff, good stuff. Oh my god, we listened to Pickle Spider, I just realized. In the Discord. Um, okay, and Yoda, what was your question here? What happens if someone redeems a focus while you're in drawing mode, but then alerts a pause and you exit drawing mode? Go to the camera, for example, and unpause. Does it wait until it's in drawing mode again, or what? I have a feeling it would just kick off I have a feeling it would just kick off the focus no, no matter what scene I'm in at that point. I think as long as I'm in this scene, it allows a focus to be made. And then once it's in the system, once it's in the queue, it'll just fire off whenever it can. So it's not, it's not that advanced. Um, and, uh, okay, I'm going to unpause the lights now. <laughs> Um, and what's this? What's this? What's this? I'm gonna say something else. I can't remember that. Oh yeah, laser guard. Uh, yeah, feel free to send us the link at some point to, to see your tattoo. In the meantime, I'm gonna do some more uh, work here. Got the mouth colors going on. Some, I feel like there's something else I was going to mention, I forget now. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, it's, 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 it's gone. It'll come back to me later. Yeah, I have no idea what it, that could have been. Sure, it was something great. Something great. Um... Man, this music is really throwing me off. Oh, that's that's right. I just remembered music, cover art. Yes, that's that's the new thing. Yeah, Nicholas Spire. The cover art. I added the cover art. Uh, Nicholas Spire actually had the cover art uh, feature coded in, but I wasn't using it the other day because I was a little hesitant to use cover art because you know sometimes there's uh, not safe for work covers out there. And there is, I know there's at least one song in my library that features a pair of breasts, but I can't find 
<laughs> I can't find it. Um, so hopefully it'll just never come up on shuffle. But it is quite small. Um, and it's pretty rare that there's a not safe for work cover. So I, I, th I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Yeah. Um, pretty small. Oh, I just realized as well, the music notes are missing as well. That, that's something I, I didn't test enough. I did some last minute animation changes and I forgot to make sure it works. So in the meantime, I just got to manually turn this on. So little music notes. More animation there. Eh? Speaking of animation, more animated modes when? Oh yes, more animated modes, yeah. I was actually in uh in, in, in Dax stream the other day. Uh checking out checking out what Dax's up to. Some geo guessing was pretty fun. And uh Dax has some great emotes. Inspired me to uh to get onto making emotes as well again. Because we are due some emotes. But then after a few after some sketching and stuff, I was like, ah shit, I can't think of anything. So as soon as I can think of something, uh we'll we will do that. But we do have some ideas, like the load lurk, I think, is a pretty solid idea for an animation, like it pops out of the popcorn or whatever. The other part of that is it's really hard to animate stuff. <laughs> really hard. But once I find myself having some extra time and patience, then uh, we will get on to that. Also... What's this? Oh, Laser Gurk? You got oh, the, 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 your pictures in the Discord? Okay, let's check this out. Hold on, hold on. One second. One second here. Uh, I go over here. I go over here. And open up the Discord here. Sweet. I go over here. General chat, you say? Nice. Excellent. I think. I wonder. Is this my first loading artist tattoo that I've seen? I'm not sure. I think it might be. I think it might be. Nice. Cute little bee. And that's on there forever. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be uh, infused in your skin. Appreciate it. And uh, wh where was this anyway? Where is this tattoo at? I can't quite tell. Bicep? Also, what is this? Um, Nicholas Byer, did you define the no cover art no. image path? Very rare, but might break stuff if you. What? Sorry, what? Raren gifting us up to the Super Tux. Super Tux finding himself without a, without a hat. Not for long. Not when Raren's around. Thank you very much, Raren. <laughs> Wait, what? My sub expired. Apparently, yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, Nicholas, yeah. the the cover art image path very rare, but might break up if you play a song without a cover art. For example, music on Firefox might have one. I see. I haven't even tested Firefox to be honest. Music on Firefox. I've only tested uh, Spotify and Pretzel. And uh... but I mean, so I I I I'll I'll look into that stuff. The stuff that's breaking right now is not anything to do with the code, it's just my fault. Because I had like a different animation system and then last minute last night I decided to animate it in a different way. But I think I forgot to update some actions to <laughs> to reflect the new anime whatever. Whatever. You know what I mean, I think. I hope. Okay, let's do this. It doesn't work.
I don't know what the shirt color should be. Um, I guess red looks weird. I'm actually thinking of making it kind of like a gray. It's like an undershirt thing. And I think it looks more naked if it's gray. Excellent. Thank you for the focus. Much appreciated. And see how the background is being filled out? That's why I don't need to bother masking it out, because the color is going to knock out that background. Oof. Oops. Got to fill in their eyes and face and everything. Nice. Um, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Um, oh, and also, I guess, right, I was going to mention that the, the animation I'm talking about is. I've, I've, I've made it so that when I pause and stuff, it's not just, I, I used to animate just like the speaker box moving up. Um, but then when I started adding like the cover art and then the musical notes, it's like kind of crazy. I'm going to have to animate each one moving up by itself. So I'm like, ah, screw it. I'm just animating the entire scene to move up when it pauses. So the whole scene moves up now. And it goes, whoop. So you can even see the text. And if I skip the whole scene, moves a little bit and it updates it's like kicks the whole thing which i think i like better rather than just moving the speaker box the whole music element moves so it just looks a bit nicer that way is there a new music command as well uh it's worrying that you did the music command and it's not showing up there should be a command and it's not new, but I updated the, the text of it. Oh, does the command not work if it's inside of a sentence? Marin just did it properly there. But yeah. That link goes to the Discord stage channel. Thingamajiggy. Just gotta be it by itself. I see, I see. Now, let's see. What color should the jacket be? I'm not sure, but for now, I'm just going to fill it in. Hey, where's Lego? Nice, using that, using that uh, Amazon Prime for your 20th month. Thank you very much. Months appreciated. How is it going today? Thank you very much. How are things? And listening to music like this really makes me want to work faster. This electro swing. It's impossible to work slow when you're listening to a song like this. And also, yeah, let me know if the music quality and whatnot on the Discord is all good. As soon as you hear any sort of crackling or stuff, don't hesitate to let me know. It's like a nightmare of mine to have things broken, but just never realize it until the end. It reminds me of the times when I'd stream, and at, only at the end of the of the whole stream do I realize, oh, my microphone was, the volume was lower, much lower than than normal, so everything else sounded really loud by comparison. Ugh. Stuff like that gives me nightmares.
and I get paranoid because the more and more you stream and add more features and things, the more things like there are things you gotta like keep in mind, and I might forget. So like right now, like these days, I have to think about the screenshots that the stream takes for the outro. Uh, I have to still manual manually delete them each week. Uh, same with the comic titles, gotta gotta delete them too each week. I'm gonna automate that at some point. But probably probably the outro the outro's gonna look different anyway. The outro right now is temporary. Also, thank you for the hydration, like yes. Oh, bosoms. I mean, that doesn't, that, I mean, you can barely see. That's not the one I'm talking about. The one with the, the bosomy cover art, but it's so small right now. Not that anyway. Of this. Yeah, too, too chill. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, now what? Color in. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Better. Uh, her hair? Probably blonde. Probably. Not guaranteed. Might change, but for now. Hey, what's this? Classipa? Uh, did you know that this song has a second song that is like chapter two of the clip? Wait, what? Which song? This song? What are we talking about? Chapter two of the clip. Oh, the Lone Digger. Oh, from the Caravan Palace. They have a... There's a second song. Oh, okay, I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't know much about Caravan Palace, to be honest. <sighs> oh, what is this? Psychomanity? What is this? Um, I'll play another Caravan Palace song after this. But what, first of all, what we got here from Psychomanity? 100 bits, and apparently Psychomanity's best one yet. Okay. What is this? A comic for ants? I have to zoom in like 3,000% here. Okay, what's this? It was great getting to know you, but I have something to admit. Behind this mask, I really am a monster. Well, while we're being honest. <laughs> I like the, the addition of the character in the background. <laughs> oh, I see. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing out both of the kids. Oh my god. Thank thank you very much. Wow, this this took me for a ride. I don't know where this is going. At first it's like, oh, she's gonna reveal herself to be a cat and then he throws her out the window, but nope. A twist. <laughs> thank you very much for that psychomanity. Sorry, it's really blurry. Oh I think it adds to it. It adds to the to the aesthetic that it's all blurry like this. I like it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And also, Laser Guard, gonna go sleep now. Have a great evening, everyone. Have a good one yourself. Thank you very much again for the donation and also for getting my getting my work tattooed on your body forever. It's an honor. And uh, have a good night. Buenos. No, Diaz is day. Buenos. Okay, I have an idea of what it, what good night could mean in Spanish, but I'm not sure if it it's actually sounds like a, some sort of racist thing. Buenos na nachos? Nachos! No, nachos! Oh, it's close! Oh, shit! Nachos. Nachos. I knew it was some. I knew it was something like that. 
in my head it was like, oh, it's Brenda. I'm pretty sure it's Brenda's nachos. But like, that can't be it. That sounds so racist. Can't be Brenda's nachos. Nachos. Hey, I love nachos, by the way. <laughs> I love burritos as well. I'm not even sure. Is it burrito Spanish thing? I had burritos last night. My, my father is a burrito. <laughs> Wait, that sounds even more racist. I was making a insightful joke. Like, uh, the gay thing is like, not there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> I, I know a lot of gay people. My father's gay. <laughs> oh, I'm digging myself a huge hole here. Man, I'm sweating. Anyway. Have a good one. Take care. Uh, 202S. First time back in like a year. Well, welcome back. Oh my goodness. Um. New distraction here. I never break. I never break. Thank you very much for the 54 months, by the way. Uh. I never break my month streak more like 54 month streak even four and a half years jeez louise thank you very much oh I, for some reason i've got a heart in the chat let me just i don't know how that heart uh added itself to my chat bar but okay adding it and potatoes etc welcome back as well oh jeez okay what are we doing But yeah, this caravan palace thing, lone, lone digger. Did you say there's a part two to it? Can't find it. But anyways, curious. Oh, so many hearts in the chat. Love to see it. Hmm. 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 I know. I know how to do with that. The heart symbols. I don't like something about this. I feel like something about maybe the bust compared to the size of the head or something. I don't know. I feel like I think it's this it's this uh neckline which I don't quite like for some reason. I don't know. Oh, that looks a lot better already compared to this. Like for some reason I look at this and it looks like an underbite. And I don't know why, but that looks much, much nicer. Okay, just... Yeah, 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 that, that looks better. I'm glad that that's all it took. Same with this. Oops. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Yeah, something about when the neckline kind of just doesn't go back up and it just kind of continues on like this way. I don't like that. I'm not sure what it is. Some sort of perspective thing. Luckiest, by the power of the Spanish Council of Men, I hereby approve Buenos Nachos as a valid form of saying goodnight. Oh, there you go. I feel, I feel completely validated. The natural cheese is off my hands. <laughs> the power. Did you see when Jack's Films asked his viewers to make a Garfield comic? It was hilarious. I have not seen any Jack's Film stuff ever, really. Um, not, not, haven't seen. Have not seen. Um, at first, I thought you were meaning the, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like, it, it was an old, old meme thing and then they kind of did a re a reboodle a revival of it it was like realistic garfield or something i forget what it was called and it's like kind of creepy looking like there's one where they kind of read make a garfield comic but it's like realistic garfield like with a puppet and there's one comic where like he's drinking coffee and then his eyes get really big 
And then there's like some sort of weird credit interlude where like his eyes fall out to the song of holes in my face. I forget what it's called. I think someone out there knows what I'm talking about. Get back to work! Someone, someone out there knows what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll find this. I'll find this. Find this later. And then there's another one. It's like I'm using the I'm using the cat brush. And they have like a musical remix to it. It's really, really weird and surreal, but anyway, more on that later. What else do I need to color in for the foreground? I think it's pretty much it. That jacket's not just going to be red, by the way. It's going to be duo-toned, but I'm not sure how exactly yet. Uh, it's to the background. Yeah, this is... Forget that blue background color, that's just temporary. Don't even look at it. Um... Oh, I see, so the Caravan Palace song, the name is different. The song name is different. What is chapter two? Is the song clip mostly? You can Google it after. Hold on, let me find it. I see a 35 minute podcast episode <laughs> called Caravan Palace, Caravan Palace. And I think that's chapter two or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yeah, so I'm re-rolling that character. Nice. There you go. Uh, head like a hull. Head like a hull, Garfield. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta see this. Lasagna cat is what it was called. This, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just gotta show this real fast so that you know, I'm proving to you that I'm not just being crazy. There's, there is something here to it. Here, look. Oh no! I'm using the cat brush! Gee, I don't yell when I use this toothbrush. <laughs> And then it goes on, and there's like, there's like a musical interlude with it as well. I, I, can't, I don't think I can play it because I think it's got Nine Inch Nails and stuff, but, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, got some gold. This was, that was from 2008. I remember seeing this way back when. There's some weird stuff in there. It's yeah, 14 years ago. Let me show, show more of it there. 14 years ago stuff. This is the one I was t telling you about with the eyes. Okay, well, that's a bit of a spoiler, but here we go. One more sip of coffee would probably be a mistake. <laughs> I know my caffeine. <laughs> and then... <laughs> I, I, I probably shouldn't be playing this music, but anyway, it, it goes on like this, and you can you can see the rest. I can't play I can't play because the music is copyrightable, but um, pretty good. It gets kind of freaky. Is he? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, um, what else is there? There's some other good stuff. Oh, I mean, this is a classic as well. 
I don't think this is copyrightable, this part. One more. Oh no! I ordered french fries with my haunted hamburger! French fries with my haunted hamburger. French fries, hamburger, Garfield, hamburger, Garfield. I am a haunted hamburger. Can Vince Kunstner? Uncle Jesse. French fries. Garnfield. Ah. <sighs> okay. Good stuff. Anyway, if you want to see more, it's that lasagna cat on YouTube. And like four years ago, they had this like res resurgence of like, they just dropped new content um you know after 10 years later and it is weird as hell i can't even i can't even show on stream um the, down here are the latest uploads uh look how long this one is look how long four hours 40 minutes this one video it is weird as hell um i wonder if i can show it i can't remember exactly what it is i think it's fine one of these is super disturbing but I don't think it's this one. This will be the last one. I, I promise. I promise. Lasagna Cat sex survey results. Who's there? Hey, my name's Garrett Smith. Garrett Smith, who? Hey, my name's Garrett Smith. And I have had exactly zero sex partners. Who's there? Jaden Gitchell. Jaden Gitchell who? It's Jaden Gitchell, and I've had three sexual partners. <laughs> okay, so it, it goes on like this, and it's, a. Uh... Four hours and forty minutes long. So, um, hope you got yourself some uh, some drinks and snacks, and uh, let's keep going. Gillian Jones. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gillian Jones. Just one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, there's a raid happening. Um, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, Cat Somniac. Welcome back. Uh. <laughs> just, just showing off, showing off this YouTube channel that I promised I wasn't making up. Cat Somniac, thank you very much. Yeah, Lasagna Cat is a very cat-orientated stream today. Uh, some weird-ass Garfield-related videos from like 14 years ago, uh, and then they even more weird stuff four years ago, five years ago now, and this just goes on and on and on. And it's pretty clever, like. I don't know if you noticed, but the, the newspaper is different, and then it's just such a seamless video. It's just it's weird. Weird as hell. Um, but anyway, that's Lasagna Cat. Check it out if you want. Otherwise, I'm going to get back to work. Thank you very much for, for the raid, and welcome. Kitty Rolls as well. Hello, hello. And your Yodo, congrats on finding that spider. 60th spider. That's as many as six tens. Exactly. Strike. Exactly. 60 spiders. <whistles> All right. <laughs> Back to work now. Um, gonna play more songs in the Discord. Here we go. Oh, show the comic. Oh, wait, Cat, Cat Somniac. That's right. I haven't even shown you the comic yet. <gasps> Let me show you. Let me show you what we're working on. 
Hope you had a good stream, by the way. What were you streaming? And uh, here it is. <clears throat> but the blinds is not part of the comic. Forget the blinds sound. It's just a windy day. Wait! Huh? Splash. Oh, such a, such a gentleman! Whoa, 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 what are you doing? This is saving me a trip to the laundromat. Thanks, Drake. Anyway, that, that's what we're working on this week. That's what we're working on. Six panels, quite a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, yesterday was all the line art, and now we're doing the coloring and shading. So far, so good. You love it? Hey, I'm glad. And what were you saying? You, you drew so many Pokemon. Oh my goodness. How many is many? And what, what, what's your, which, would, uh, which was your favorite Pokemon that you've drawn? Which is your favorite Pokemon and why is it Meowth? <laughs> I, could probably, probably guess, I could probably guess why it's Meowth. Let's see. Yo and Gogo, why have they taken their trousers off? Well, I mean, if you don't wear trousers, you can never get them dirty. That's one, one way of uh, never needing to wash your pants ever again. You liked the whooper, Kitty Rolls? The whooper? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, is that a Pokemon? One of those new Pokemons, I think. You drew six, and I was like, Jigglypuff. Classic. Jigglypuff. That's a good one. Cute. Round. Nice. If you had to... Here's a, here's, a, here's a good question I like to ask people. It's like a personality question. If you could... If you were... It's, it's like... If you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? But it's not animals. If you were a Pokemon, which Pokemon would you be? Like, which one best resembles you? Not, I don't mean like visually, necessarily, but just in terms of vibe. What Pokemon do you... Relate to the most, I guess, is a good one. Doctor, the Doctor Snorlax. <laughs> oh dear, Kitty Rolls Whooper. Uh, I gotta look up the, what this Whooper thing is. I don't even. God, I feel so old. What is this new Pokemon? I only know 151. Any more is unnecessary. I think I is it the one that's like, and it looks like a. Like a butt plug. Is it that one? Not to, not to poo-poo all over your Pokemon. <laughs> but let's see what this is. I'm going into... My, oh, it's, oh, it's this one. Oh, it's not the one I was thinking of. Although that also looks like a butt plug. Uh, but, yeah, I see. Thanks for ruining it for me. I'm just gonna go die now. <laughs> it's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of the one that's more like... Ah. Oh, that's cute. Is that his evolved form? I like that too. It's a cute one. I like it. Woo! I'm doing a bit of like a low J thing going on. Nice. Cat Somnac, you relate to Jigglypuff a thousand percent. Chaotic and cute. Snore likes for you, Art Fart. Slow poke, Wolfie. Slow bro for you, <laughs> Luckiest. A little like. Slow and lazy and, and big Pokemon here. Snorlax. Slowpoke, slow bro. Nice. The one I identify with most is uh This is me. Ah, ah oh god Oh god, a comic is due and I don't know what it is. Also I have three hairs and I have a headache. <laughs> I'm Psyduck through and through. Uh <sighs> We could have been playing like, oh, who's that Pokemon? It's pretty clear, pretty obvious with this, though. <sighs> All right, let's see. Let's get, let's get back to work now. Getting, getting so distracted. Oops, wrong one. Nah, oh, jeez. Push the buttons too quickly. Well, uh, what's this? Raven Moon. 
Hey everyone, uh, so uh, I got the new Coke flavor, Starlight, and eh, it tastes like Coke and cake. It was like the f first drink was super sweet cake or Christmas cookie taste, and after a while it just tastes like a normal Coke. Sweet cake flavor. Cake-a-cola is what they should have called it. Cake-a-cola. Eh. What would you like? <laughs> cake or Pepsi? <laughs> is cake okay? <laughs> uh, eh, hypercatabil, you can't get me with that focus. I got the alerts paused here. See? <laughs> I have bulls in my court now. Maybe I'll never unpause the alerts ever again. Cat Somnia, Gregor has three whole ass hairs underneath his hat. No, my ass hair is down below. I'm not at that point yet. I'm not, I'm not... I, I, I'm not doing that, uh, what, ass hair head reconstruction sh surgery thing. Not for me. Although, I could, I could give myself an afro with the amount of, uh, with the amount of uh, resources I have available there. Anyways. Get back to work! Let's focus. Let's do it! Uh, let's see. What were we working on? Oh yeah, we're working on the, the background colors. So for now, I'm just doing... Filling in some of these colors here. Make sure I get everything. Turn off the sketch so I don't need the sketch anymore. It's just getting distracting. And the tree as well. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what color scheme. I don't even know what time of day this is or what season. Right now, I'm just filling in the blanks. Thank you, Giddy Rules, for the hydration. <clears throat> Finding a good kind of upbeat song. Uh... Yeah, this one, this one works. Oh, the hydration courtesy of <laughs> Whooper. Thank you very much, Kitty Rolls. It was very effective. Super effective! And Flash Spur. Oh, the Caravan Pal song is called Moonshine, but the clip is the most important thing. <laughs> oh, you mean like video clip? Oh, yeah. I, I don't got time to watch video clips, but I'll, I'll check out the song. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't really know much about Caravan Palace at all. I'll add it to the queue. It'll play after this song. This is also quite an electro swing song. Kitty Rolls, can you faint now? I've never fainted before in my life. Wait, no. I think I did. I think once. I fainted once in my... Actually, I'm not sure if I fainted or if I was just being dramatic. But I remember it was after a skateboarding accident. I tried to... I don't know what I tried to do. I was going downhill on the road in Dubai. I, I tried to do a, a, a manual, like a wheelie-looking thing, and... I immediately just go... And the skateboard was like... All over the road. Eventually, I flipped off of it, and then just landed on the on the... Dirty ass road tarmac. <laughs> Let my elbows and knees and uh, wrists do all the grinding, grinding myself to a halt. Nearly landed on a dead rat. And uh, yeah, it was just like 
like black blood almost. Just, just, just like a. I looked like I was part road at that point. And then, yeah, I think my mom had my mom put some like what is it like the hundred percent alcohol swab or something. Painful. And then I think that's when I passed out. But I'm not sure. I think maybe maybe my knees buckled or something. I don't know. But that that was about it. That that that's where. My uh, skate skateboarding career grinded to a halt. That's when Gregor decided to never do anything sports like ever again. Yes. Right now, the, the ground is going to be darker because the, the puddle is going to be quite light to, to stand out. More and more. Something like this, I don't know. What? Oh, oh, you can't see what, what just happened, but Psyduck just appeared on my screen again. <laughs> All of a sudden, this is, this is what I'm looking at right now. I don't know how that happened. How do I minimize... Weird. Psyduck uh, is using his, his uh, psycho capabilities on me. Leaving me all confused and... Hurting myself. Alright, fart, I fainted when you got up from I fainted when when you got up from a chair too fast once. Weak heart contributed to it. Oh yeah, yeah. Standing up too quickly. Um I I've never fainted from that, but I see what you mean. Like you get kinda of like lightheaded and, and woozy as well. Like I will sometimes I'll get up from bed and then I'll just like pull back into it. Usually that's because I'm just tired and lazy but sometimes it's because like whoa suddenly the, there's not enough blood in my brain um yeah it's freaky though i've never never fainted though from that that's scary So, at this point, I'm trying to see what it looks like if I just kind of make it a typical kind of daytime, uh, daytime sort of uh, looking comic. Again, we're not doing the penultimate panel there. That's going to be a different color entirely. It's going to be uh, abstract. Kitty Rolls, I didn't know your brain required blood, to be honest. Thank you, Kitty Rolls. Thank you very much. Have I said? Have I said welcome back, Kit? How good it is to see you again? Because I take it back now. I'm going to change the song. I'm not really feeling this one quite as much. Uh, I'm going to change it to... What about, what about, what about, what about, I'm just not, I'm just not going to look. I'm just going to double click any song here. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Sounds slow. I don't know. This is a good one. All right. Skeletons in your closet. 
I'm, I I couldn't wait. It's not even at that part of the song yet. I'm just. Ding ding ba ding boom bang boom boom bang doodle doodle. Skeletons in your closet. Ba 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 da da. It's looking okay. I've changed the line art color. If you can see the difference, yeah, making it more subtle. And same with the ground. Yeah. It's okay so far. Let's see. Second man, what's this? Okay, Greg, now that you're back to focusing, I want to distract you again. So you think live action Garfield is cursed? Check out live action Wallace and Gromit. Hmm, I don't think I've seen this before. I wonder, did they have that? The thing that freaks me out freaks me out about Wallace and Gromit is the mouth. The mouth, the way they animate the mouths. I wonder if they have that going on as well. Let's have a look. See here. Jesus Christ. Okay, the thumbnail just loaded. Uh, oh my god, it looks terrifying even when it's censored. <laughs> oh man, what is this? I don't even know if I want to watch this. Alright. Let's see. Man's best friend. Mind oh my you, god. I do get a bit lonely. I've never been lucky in love. Never, ever. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, I'm quite good looking, aren't I? I've still got me thinking. Be nice to have a lady make my tea. You know, my problem is I can't dance. And the reason for that is quite simple, Gromit. I've never had the right trousers. <laughs> Till now. Oh my god. Oh god, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can watch more of this. I'm kind of curious. Think, Gromit? Oh, it's Gromit? I built them myself. Baby. The eyes are really freaking me out. I hate the eyes. Oh my. This looks like a... I'm pretty sure I've seen this in some sort of like... Like Japanese horror manga or something. I don't know. All it's missing is like that sound like... Uh, uh. Also, uh, what freaked me out as well from the, from the thumbnail... I thought this was the mouth at first. I forgot that the dog has a big nose. I thought it was like a screaming person. I mean, it's still freaky either way, but yeah. I, I, I don't want to watch more of this. I do not. Oh my god, what is going on over here? Oh no. Come in. No, 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 no more, no more, no more, no more. I, I can feel it already seeping into my, whoop, into my nighttime brain. No, 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 thank you. Much appreciated, though. I, uh, I already get kind of scared enough by its stop motion stuff. Don't need more fuel to that fire. Thank you. And also, kitty rolls. Kind of bits from kitty rolls. Don't worry, Gregor, you'll watch it all back in your nightmares. Thank you for confirming that for me, kitty rolls. Thank you very much. Oh! Oh, it's still playing! Stop, it, stop! Okay, all the, okay, uh, I didn't mean for that to happen. Um, pushing play on my keyboard plays the YouTube video. Let me close this. Who's there? 
Blake McCory. Blake McCory? Who? Blake McCory, zero. Okay, I gotta close all of my YouTube videos. Otherwise, the, the, the pause button keeps playing them. Here we go, okay. Back to Stevie Wonder. Oh, man. Get back to work! Let's do it. Let's do it. Sheba sucks. You gotta go, unfortunately. <laughs> good call. Sheba sucks. Get out of here. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. I mean, also, there's one thing I realized. This uh, this comic's looking pretty ugly right now, and that's fine <laughs> because I haven't added a shading yet, and that's what's gonna make it look nice. Which we'll do that now. Let's do shading. Getting there. Hey, Yuko. Good morning, good morning. Hello, welcome back. Let's see. That looks okay. I'm not really quite sure how the shading should work on this on this arm here. Oh, oh. Stroik found a spider and Yuko got a new hat. Nice. I like that one. The safari hat. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now this shading looks weird. Um I've forgotten how it works. Hey, Cat Somniac, 200 bitties! 200 bits, Cat Somniac, thank you very much. Gregor, for the love of God, never subject us, subject us to that nightmare again. With pleasure. With pleasure, I shall not. That Wallace and Gromit thing. Never opening links from Psychomanity ever again. <laughs> yeah, and I thought the Garfield thing was bad. Garfield thing looks like... The Teletubbies in comparison, but that's not a good rev that's not a good metaphor because Teletubbies are kind of freaky as well. Can you imagine if Teletubbies are real aliens, and like that footage was beamed down to us from I don't know Mars or something? Wouldn't that be absolutely terrifying? Oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, wait, yeah, 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 Mr. Postman. Reporting in. Oh, Dak. Fight with reverb, the MP3. Hey, Dak, welcome, Dak. How you doing? Copy. Copy. Heard copy meowing in the background. Hello, hello. Anyone? Hey! Wanna come in here? Nope. Nope. 
She looked at me, and then she looked away. Totes Coax, hello folks, or as they say in New Zealand, what a book. Hello Totes Coax, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back, back. Oh, and a hydration as well. Thank you, where's Lego? Yeah. Very nice. I make a second coffee soon, actually. Maybe, maybe like 10 minutes. <laughs> Luckiest, that's really time to say Buenos Nachos. All right, have a, have a good one, Luckiest. Take care. Oops, not shading in the hair. That's disgusting looking. Oh, yeah. Please, please, Mr. Postman. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That looks sort of correct, the shading. Ah, I'm not going to shade the, the shade. I'm not shading the anything that's brown or yellow with this color, because it looks hideous. I'm going to have a separate shading color for that. What is this, Psycho like, Manny? How, how dare you tempt me with these links? Stretches and yawns! Well, if you're not opening any more links for me, don't mind if I just casually drop this link in here. But now I gotta see what this is. But, I mean, might be something ban-worthy. You never know. Might be lucky enough. Let's have a look-see. Turns out I was right. Mods, you know what to do. You know what to do. That's, that's my secret secret sign for, for the mods to, you know, the, the, the ban button, you know? <laughs> I need like one of those little, yeah, buzzes in the bottom of my desk. Cause I don't wanna have to, I don't wanna have to say the, the, the B word. I don't wanna look like the bad guy. It's the mods that are all crazy. <laughs> Do I actually do this or? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I'll, I'll call it off. I'll call it off. Because now it's obvious that I'm the one that initiated this ban, so. I don't want to look like a bad guy here, so. No banning for Psychomanity right now. Uh, shading. What am I doing here? Yeah, it looks like this. This one looks weird with the. I don't need. I don't need that much shading. This shading looks strange. Maybe just like this. Because there is shadow happening from the jacket being taken off, but I don't want to have too much shadow. Where it looks like he's just wearing like a weird, st big stripey shirt. No, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't understand what's happening. Where's the shadows that happen? Oh, the shadows should be on the other side, technically. Protect the VIP team. What's this, Death Bulge? Death Bulge, welcome back, Death Bulge. What's happening? I'm missing something in the chat. What's this, what's this? Oh, Deck! 
Uh, also, Greg, you asked how I was doing and then ignored it. <laughs> I got a new job. Hey, Jack, congrats on the new job. Thank you, Death Vulture, for reminding me to, to look at the chat. Con, 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 dax. Congratulations, back on the new, on the new job. <laughs> so you have to get superior comic arts to make Greg read my messages. Shake my head. Thank you very much. Oh, Greg saw my joke. Shaking my head. Wait, what? What did I even say? I don't even know. Wait, wait, wait did you say con? Oh, you said condax. Oh, I get it. Condax. Okay, I gotta come up with something else. Oh man. Uh, what rhymes with Dak? Hey Siri, what rhymes with Dak? Here's what I found from wordhippo.com. Words that rhyme with deck include wreck, check, neck, spec, peck, trek, fleck, leg, peg, and beck. None of these work because <laughs> Siri misunderstood me. Um, uh, Jack, 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 Black, Black, Smack, Track, Dax on Dak. I don't know. Congratulations. Jesus Christ. My neck, my back, uh, my neck, my back, uh, good job, good, congratulations, Dak, on, no, I, don't, I, I can't rhyme with anything anymore, I, I honestly can't rhyme, can't, I can't even say the word rhyme anymore, Jesus Christ, put me on the spot here. I'm I'm just an empty vessel today. <laughs> but anyways, I'm glad to hear about the new job. Good. I keep wanting to say good job, but that doesn't make any sense. Good job, Dak, on the new job. I'm just repeating the words. Excellent. Good news. When do you start this new job, Dak? And is it gonna conflict with your, your with your mod with your mod work, moderating work? Because if so, sorry to say you're gonna have to leave that new job. Just for the, the very fact that you didn't even ask me about this before taking on a new job is uh, highly insulting. <laughs> highly insulting and and uh, offensive to the to the mod the honor of being a mod. Mod work. Do you pay the mods? They're internships. The the pay is experience and a, a solid reference from from none other than other mods. You said in a couple of weeks. I know. I think I could actually be able to be here a little longer now. Oh yeah. Wait, how does that work? Are you, ready? Are you are you just gonna be on Twitch while you're on this new job? You're already slacking off. You haven't even started the, the new job and you're already thinking about <laughs> hanging out in the streams. Jeez Louise. Oh, uh, you'll live close and start later. Live live close and start later. But you're oh you're moving. You're moving as well, Dak? That's that's huge. Oh man, what am I doing here? Let me just undo everything I've done. What does it look like if I did the opposite? This is dark. That looks a little bit better actually. Yeah, never mind. I'll do it that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
slightly slow. Looks weird. Uh, let's see. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. Hey, Rishu. Welcome back. But yeah, Dak, you had a job. Now you have a better one. Excellent. Ah, oh, very cool. Another. I think that deserves another round of applause. Oh. Someone's here to even say congratulations. Oh. Poppy realized that you needed some recognition. Get it? Needed? Hey. Love you. Mm hmm? What is this? Yo Yodo, I tried Clips of Your Pain for the first time to make this! Let's have a look-see, so I can judge it. I will judge it hard. <laughs> this is not this, this is the old Link. What is this? Eh. Whoa, whoa! Scroll in, scroll in! Hey, Steven and Lexi finding out 17 spider for you. Congrats. There we go, what do you got here? Oh, I'm sent oh, I see the new window in the background. Oh. <laughs> that works really well, actually, yeah. Not not the last panel, but actually the penultimate panel. Very good. <laughs> I love that I love that all my cats have been orange as well. It's just it's just meant to be. Excellent. And yeah, that would have been hard. You had to like add the window there and cut it out from the from the character. Although ear tip is missing. What am I supposed to believe? What am I supposed to believe? That this window is supposed to be behind a cat? I don't think so. The ear is clearly behind it. The whole illusion is shattered. Hey. Alright, back to work now. Good job, Yoyoto. Oh. What's the original Garfield comic, though, to power? Oh, wait, Garfield gets thrown out the window? Um... I don't actually know. Uh... What is the original Garfield comic? <laughs> I can't... I can't... I thought I thought I knew it, but I don't. Pretty sure it's John who throws out Garfield. I'm pretty, that's all I know. Oh, Let's back to work. Wow, 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you for the focus there, Caterpillar. And what is punchline? Hey, Raren, you think it's this? You think that's the original Garfield? Okay, I gotta see what this is. See if I'm I'm pretty sure John's the one throwing out Garfield, but 
that's all I know. Um, I feel embarrassed that I don't know this because I'm such a um, Garfield connoisseur. There we go. All right. Yeah, you got this. I'm going out, Garfield. The woman will be hysterical over me. That outfit's hysterical. What do you think of my attire? It could use some alteration. Let's tuck in the... Let's tuck that tie in and add some vents to the sleeves. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Garfield is dominating John in this panel. A smart cat knows just how far to go without crossing the line. Crossing over the line. Perhaps a more rackish tilt to the hat? I don't know what's going on in this comic. I just love that last panel. I don't remember any of this, to be honest. That, it's not the most memorable comic. Oh, is it rakish? Rakish tilt? <laughs> oh, man. This, I think this comic really uh, shows off the Sunday comic layout thing with Jiggy, because look at that gigantic logo. I know I said this before in stream, but see that gigantic logo that takes up like two panels at the top there? The reason they did this is because in some newspapers, they needed to fill a space that big. Um, but other newspapers only have space for two rows, like this. So what they would do is they would fill most of the first row of a Sunday comic size like this, just a logo, and then the first panel has nothing to do with the rest of it. Look at it. This, this one, this one has, it doesn't even attempt to be related to the rest of the comic. John's not even wearing the thing. It's, it's crazy. Usually I've seen Garfield have like a, well, not necessarily a joke, but some sort of like other cold open where it's sort of, it's like a prequel to the rest, but you don't need it. You should do the same for your comic, your Yodo. Actually, funny you should say that. I, I did try it on my own comic once. Um, I did try it. What was it? What comic was it? What was it? Let me have a quick check here. Check this out. Huh? <laughs> See, I, I did. I did try to have a, a Sunday style comic uh, layout once. This is a long time ago, just to see what it would be like. <laughs> See, perfect fit. Um, but it. Uh, I think that's actually when I found out, like, why they have such a huge logo. Anyway, it didn't go anywhere. It was a complete disaster. Book Ruffle Cartoons. Hey, Book Ruffle Cartoons. How you doing? You got the, you've got the Garfield book with that comic in it? Oh, nice. Which one is that? I, I have a huge collection of Garfield books. Unfortunately, uh, my parents kept them in their basement, their damp, moldy basement, and most of all of my Garfield books are now uh, smell like mold, and they're kind of like they got this weird. They feel like they're all covered with a little bit of mushrooms, you know, like a thin layer of mushrooms, um, which is a shame, but I still have them about. <laughs> oh well, I used to read. I used to read Garfield books like all the time. All the time, honestly. If there, if there were like science books, I'd be like a Nobel Peace Prize winning scientist by now. Shame there's no Nobel Garfield Prize. <sighs> Strike. As someone who regularly struggles with background colors, how do you feel about the comic using two alternating wool colors for the same background, and then the last panel, one of them as a as the outside color? Oh, you, th you 
talking about that Garfield comic, huh? Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of weird. I I will say I don't like the colors at all in this whole in this whole comic. The lime green and the purple. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, the the background it goes from well, ignoring the first panel because that's just I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, pink, blurple, pink, blurple, nothing, blurple, and then blurple pink. It's weird. It's like. Do you only have like six colors available? I don't think so because you've got like a whole gradient going on over here unnecessarily. It just seems like such a strange choice. Why not have the sky be sky colored and the outside of the building be like a building, you know? It's it's really weird. It's a... I'm pretty sure the coloring happens later on, because this looks like an old Garfield comic. This looks like 80s Garfield, judging by the size of his eyes. Um, so I think the coloring is a new thing, but... Yeah, the later art style of Garfield is a lot better when it comes to like the house. Because they have that wooden paneling house, and they got the hedge. Basically, anything I do, I get it from Garfield. But Garfield is very classic when it has these like abstract color backgrounds, and they'll have that, that kind of like, you kind of saw it in that YouTube channel before. Um, wait, I, I, wait, what's it called? Using the cat brush Garfield comic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, it's not that one. Oh, this one will do just fine. Wait, wait, wait. See, like. Garfield's, I don't know if it's just a Garfield thing or if a lot of the comics from the 80s and things were, were like this, but you just have these abstract colors and then you have this random like line of, uh, of those dots and they change. Like Garfield's not even moving anywhere and it's, they look different. So bizarre, but it works. It works. And in fact, I kind of did a thing like this for a while through my dotty background phase. I did those things, if you, if you guys remember. I'm not sure which comics they were exactly, but I definitely experimented with that style too. I think it would have been like 2020. Like these, these things. Although that was more consistent. That was more of like a scientist lab thing. But look at this. I got that kind of, kind of hard to tell here. But that line, see? Except it said the inverse over there, but... It makes more sense if the darker is on the top because the speech bubble is so light. It's a nice contrast, and you don't want to make it dark at the bottom because the stick arms are, are black, so it's going to be hard to see. But yeah. Anywho. Whoops. Oh, I'm missing a bunch of uh, chat here. Let's see. What's what this? Stephen Delexi. Stephen Delexi, what's this? What is this? Grease? Nice. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. <laughs> Move, it's got me now. Time is the place, is the motion. Stephen Alexi, I think your cat is a bit overweight. Cat? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you've made the panel a lot bigger to emphasize how big the cat is. Though, that's a huge ass window as well. <laughs> very nice. Thank you very much, Stephen Alexi. Oh my god, what is this? Got, an got another one! It's like a manatee. I'm going out, Garfield. The woman will be hysterical over me. That outfit's hysterical. What do you think of my attire? <laughs> Slap. Short and sweet. Gotta love it. Thank you very much, Psycho Manatee.
Let's see here. Uh, Hyper Caterpillar, you missed mine? Wait, hold on. Hyper Caterpillar. I don't understand Hyper Caterpillar. It's just a panel of Garfield. What am I missing here? Dak, what's this? <sighs> very good, Dak, very good. <laughs> good thing that bag didn't rip on the glass shards. If you know what I mean, because then uh, it might be uh, it might be fathers. Because it's from that sperm bank robbery comic. People who are confused got jizz in that bag. All right, we got We got to keep working here. We got. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, and I think I'm gonna make another coffee because I think that would be a good a good way of getting more work done especially if you want to play some more zelda at the end of tomorrow's stream we gotta get a move on so let's go first of all but first let me unpose the alerts spider was caught by you got 61 spiders excellent And, and, wait, I'm just gonna, I'm waiting for the alerts to finish before I move over to what the comic, so I can make a coffee. And I think that's all good. Okay, let's do this. What the comic time for a little bit, five minutes, while I come up with, um, a coffee to Three, keep working. Two, so thank one. you very much. Prepare for battle. For your patience. I'll be back very soon. All right, three, two, one. See you in five minutes. Thank you very much. Congratulations, you are the winner. Three, two, one. Prepare for battle. Headshot. Three, two, one. Prepare for battle. Congratulations, you are the winner. Three, two, one. Prepare for battle. Dominating. Three, two, one. Prepare for battle.
Congratulations, you are the winner. Three, two, one. Prepare for battle. Congratulations, you are the winner. Three, two, one. Prepare for battle. All right. All right. All right. What do we have to hear? What's this? What is this? Oh, it's... It's this comic. Everybody's favorite! I honestly have no idea what this one's called. Um... I know what... I, all I know is what... I know what he's saying in that panel. Why is everyone so much better than me? I think, right? Something like that. Can't quite remember. Seems like uh, some a few points have been dished out, mostly by Super Tux. Congrats, Super Tux. What's the second minute? Is it possible to make it so if you win, you get double the bees back or not? Because Twitch don't work like that. Yeah, you can't. You can't give people points. You, you can refund points uh, as long as they haven't been like. Taken. Um, but yeah. Anyway, back to work now. Three, two, one. Oh, thanks for the tip. No worries, Super Tex. Prepare for battle. Okay. Oh no. What? Hold on. Still, it's still guessing. Okay, hold on. But if I go back here. Okay, and then I go over here. Three, shouldn't. two, one. Prepare for battle. Hold on. Okay, I'm over here, I've done a bit of that, and I go over here. Okay, now it should be fine. Now it should be fine. Okay, okay it's, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, <clears throat> okay, what am I missing here? Back with a link. Check out the link here. What is this, what is this, what is this? <laughs> Come on, let's go! Oh my god. That's a lot of cum. Oh, I, I just realized there's a pun here. Come on. <sighs> let's, uh... S we got a s spurry. No, that doesn't work. Just <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, back to work now. Thanks a lot for that, Dak. Dak's a lot. Oh wait, Dara what? Jesus Christ, I just got back here. Oh, what's this? Come back over here. Dara, remember when I used to make edits of your comics all the time? 
Uh, here's one for old time's sake. Okay, what's this? Good morning, team. Say hello to our new office cat. Okay, I am sensing something from this alteration already. Ah, <laughs> so cute. Oh. All right, everybody, back to work. <laughs> That's very well done. Oh my goodness. That's really well done. Dower, you've un you've outdowered yourself. That's very good. And the and the Garfield tail and everything looks really good too. <laughs> Very nice. The the edit to the cat's fur is a little red herring. Yeah, definitely. A little orange. A little orange herring. That's very good. Nice. That better that better be posted in the in the, the memories channel for sure, Dower. Alright, let's get back to it. Alright, I'm done with the song as well. Uh boop. And let's go back to Spotify. So, Discord people, prepare to listen to things again. Um, now. Let's find a good song. Uh, It's too slow, that one. Pro letter? Yeah, it's Electro Swing. Okay, cool, that works. Much of the focus. Oh, I just remembered it. I forgot. I made a coffee. I haven't even drunk it yet. Oh, it's such a good song. Okay, that's looking okay. Eh. Eh, that's okay. I think it's fine. Steven Alexi you got another one from me from you? Right, let's check this out. Check out what Steven Alexi's got for us. Alright. Uh-huh. 
Uh -huh. Instant. Can I have milk? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Spin out the kittens. <laughs> Damn, that, that has been expelled with some force. Jesus Christ. <laughs> nice edit there. Nice edit. Very good. I like how you flipped it as well. So the direction is the correct way. Good thinking. Good thinking. Good flow there. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Stephen Alexi. Thank you very much. Yeah, I hope all of these are being added to the Memories channel in Discord. Gotta, gotta keep them around. This song right now is, I only know it because that music festival thingy I went to, they were playing it there, and it's kind of nostalgic. And yeah, I know, music festival, this guy, yeah, not, not my usual cup of tea. Even when I was there, I was like, what the hell am I doing here? What am I doing here? But it was fun. Fun while it lasted. Despite the chronic constipation. Oh, uh, let's pause. Whoops. Bobby. Nanquilda, thank you for following. Hello. Much appreciated. Cat Somniac, your cat is kneading in your lap. You're so happy? Nice. Nice, yeah. In fact, paste. Paste uh, jumped up on my on my lap just the other day when I was watching TV. I started needing needing my uh, my rock hard abs. I think Paste was very impressed with the six pack that he was needing on. Definitely not doing it because it was a soft, squishy tummy or anything. Uh, <laughs> and and Copy loves to need that thing. It's like a, it's just a pillow. It's like a pillow for cats. Yeah, it's just it's your regular pillow. It's got like, it's got a nice nice softness to it. Very satisfying. Ooh. It was pretty good actually. It was like a bag bag of sand. Okay. Ooh. Tickle tickle. <laughs> Alright. What am I doing now? I'm all over the place when it comes to shading. I've forgotten to shade some other stuff. Like, I haven't shaded this this jacket here. It's going to be interesting to color it in and make it look like it's accumulating water. It's getting wetter and wetter. Technically, it's it would just become this shadow, this, this color, because that looks like it's wet now, you know? But this, whatever this is, is going to be the shading color still for now. But yeah, I wish I wish my cat would. I'm trying to teach Pace to just chill out on the couch with me while I watch TV. It's just like the nicest feeling ever when you're just sitting there chilling, got a cat next to you, or on better better yet, on you. And um, I was watching this documentary. There's a new documentary series playing on TV at the moment called The Green Planet. Another David Attenborough classic nature documentary. It's really good. Um, more about like plants 
Yeah, I know it sounds boring, plants yawn, but it's really, really cool. Really uh, fascinating stuff, and especially the footage and all that good stuff. And yeah, I had, had Paste just sh sitting next to me. Sometimes like, Paste will sit next to me, or it'll have like his big paws on me. And he'll be watching the TV as well, because sometimes there's like a bird or something, or like a bug. Um, and he'll, he'll really be watching the television. Like, oh man, so cute. He's like people. I'm gonna do the the shadow color on the hair now. It's a little too bright. Maybe make it a smidge darker. And that's too orange. There we go. Perfect. Je suis un tiroir. I am a something. I am a tiroir. I don't know what that means. Hey Siri, what does tiroir mean? in French, but now in English. I can't... What? I didn't catch that. What? Hey Siri, what does tirar mean in French? In French, tira is tira. Hey Siri, what does tirar mean in English from French? You can translate into English and many other languages in the Translate app on your iPhone or iPad. Whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, though. Uh, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. And Dr. Anethics. Hey, welcome back, Doc. How you doing? And also, uh, Maka Autumn. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I love the song as well. Damn, Hotline Miami was so good. The music. Oof. Fan out. Oh no, not that, not that part yet with the, with the song. You gonna make lunch, Psychomanity? Gonna lurk? Hey, have a good one. Have a good lunch. What are you making? Tell me everything. In nice, delicious detail. The shading looks whack. Uh Ugh, the song's good. Um, I mean, technically, I feel like the side should be the darker bit, but then it doesn't make any sense because the light is coming from, from, from this side. You know? So why is the bag being... Why is the bag darker on this side? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. It does it just looks better. I don't know. Yeah, screw it. Whatever. I'm, I, 
I do what I want. Lucy Goosey. What's this deck? Get back to work! Hey! Well, that explains. That answers that question. It does not stop the focus if I happen to change away in the last second. All right, well, I'll get to that in a second, Dak. Let's do it. New crowd, singing, singing, singing with a new crowd. Do we do we do do? Do we do we do do do? Bobby. I gotta check it out now. Uh, hey, thank you for that follow, by the way. That was uh, Gilier Momo. Mercy Baku. Thank you, thank you. What's this deck? Eh. Old school comic here, the Bird comic, 2011, pretty sure. Look at these panels, Jesus Christ, look at this art. Uh-huh, stand at the bird, stand at the bird, drinking that, drinking that Coke. Yeah. Eh, did. Eh. Family on the, on the side, police on the other side. I, I I knew where this is headed, but this is done really well. I was like, oh, it's gonna come, it's gonna come here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Perfect. I like how you've kept the, the coke and the feathers and everything. Brutal. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much for that, Dak. Whoops. Okay. Unpause the alerts. Now, where? What? What are we? What are we doing here? I think I've finished the shading. So I finished shading everything plus the hair plus the bag. They have their own shading colors. I haven't really touched the background stuff at all, except for basic, basic solid colors. Mm. I still gotta add shadow to the ground from the people. Um, I still don't know about this shading. It's strange. I don't know. Is it because the eyes are glowing? Maybe it's not necessary. Yeah, I think the eyes glowing doesn't really look right there. Let's see what it looks like when you add some shading to the ground. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. 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 Bum, 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 bum. Good song. So how does the shading look? Just two, two blobs like this? I think that's all you need, really. This one's going to be a bit more confusing, because it's kind of... Shadows like in front of him. Oh. Okay, that worked out okay.
Lucy Goosey. Actually, I'm, I'm over the song now. Staying. Doom. Oof, this is ugly. I know the shadow has to kind of touch where the limbs are touching the ground. Oh, it's going over the lines. This is the problem when the lines are not pure black. You can set, you can start to see the shadow go on top of them. That's ugly. But I can fix that manually. Oh, this whole thing looks disgusting. What a mishmash of random lines. Now it's barely touching that puddle. I don't like that. Eh. What else? Names. Doom. That looks okay. That looks okay as well. Um now what I'm going to do is select the line of the ground and remove it from the shadow. So now I've got rid of that overlap, see? Before, after. Kind of a destructive way of doing it, but it's fine. How do you listen to music again? Type music to listen on Discord. It'll send you to the stage channel. You're... Wait, you're on the Discord in the stream music thing. You still can't hear it? Oh, you had your Discord set to a different output source. Oh, okay. That, yeah, that would do it. That'd do it. Glad it works now, though. His name's Doom. Okay, uh, ground shading is sort of there. Um, the puddle is gonna need some love. It needs like reflections, but like cartoony reflections. I'm not gonna go berserk on these like realistic refractions and whatever else. RTX mode is off permanently. So how are we going to make this puddle look nice? Well, first of all, let's add a solid color on top of it, which is going to be the color of the sky. It's sort of a blue. Append it to just the puddle, remove it, and then we add it back in with a soft, soft brush. There we go. Just a little bit. So it gets kind of a darker blue at the bottom. Kind of reflects the sky a bit. We could even consider making the lighter part of the puddle even brighter, almost white. That's looking better. And now we add a new layer, a vector layer. This is going to be our... No, not a vector layer. We're going to add a... No, okay, vector layer, vector layer. And this will be our reflections. Kind of add these lines here. Bow, 
straight lines, varying, varying in thickness. Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Like that, and then add a mask to it, and now it's just goes to, from the beginning again. Like this looks way too shiny, so I'm gonna add a mask and just remove parts of it. I don't know. Remove the bottom. Yeah, remove the bottom part. I think. In fact, what if I just put that underneath the? Oh, that's bad. Yeah, remove a little bit of the bottom. I mean, this isn't Red Bull. Got to get healthy shit out of the way. And there we go. Soften up these reflection lines. Keep it kind of subtle. Don't like this one. I don't like how it makes this weird shape here. Move it to the side. Yeah. Yeah, okay, and then another thing. In fact, I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna put this ref the line reflections into a group. Um, so I'm gonna unappend it and append a group to the puddle layer, and add a mask to that group. So I have two masks now. I have one that's just a nice fade, and the second mask is gonna be used for removing the reflections from the shadows. Because if there's a shadow, we don't want a uh, light reflection thing on it because it doesn't make much sense as far as I can tell. So I'm going to select that and remove it. And now it looks like the shadow cuts off the shiny bits, which I think makes sense. I think that makes sense. It's been a while since I've been outside, so I don't really know what things look like anymore, but I think that looks about right. I think it looks also a little bit too blue, so I'm going to, have to go back here and make this lighter. Yeah. I'm also not a fan of the ground anymore, either. I don't like that ground. The ground looks a little too... too... brown, too soily. So I don't know what else it should be. Like if we make it like concrete, see the puddle doesn't really become as clear anymore. It kind of blends in. That's not too bad, I guess. Not too bad, I guess. No, it's not. It's okay. This is I, every time I see this, my eyes cringe a little bit. Think about this looks bad. I also got to change the jacket color. The jacket is just too red. But it's kind of getting there. Like, I wonder if, um... What would it look like if instead of it being all red, we have... Some parts be like a dark red. Well, first, I think the inside, the inside of a jacket is not ever really the color of the outside, right? The lining of a jacket, I feel like that's usually a different color entirely. I guess it depends on the jacket, but I think that would look better. It would help break up the monotony of it, at least. If I select that and I make that. Um, I don't know, what's a, what's a jacket lining? It's kind of, it's lighter usually, is it not? Ah. Well, I'll just fill in the colors first, and then we'll see how it looks. 
I mean, this is definitely not the right way to go. This looks, this looks bad. I can tell. Um. Sometimes lighter, sometimes darker. Uh, I don't like it too light because now it just looks like he's got two halves of a jacket and then the inside looks like the puddle. In fact, I kind of preferred it before. Maybe if I was just like a slightly darker red. Yeah. Slightly darker red and then the trims could be a different color. Maybe they could be lighter. Okay, now, now we're getting somewhere. I think this is looking a little nicer. And one benefit to the trims being lighter is that you can see his fingers better when he's gripping the, the sleeves. Let me show you what I mean. See, now that they're lighter, you can actually see the thumbs a bit clearer. If, the, if that white part was darker, you, could, you know, the hands would kind of blend in and you can see it. Not that it's important, but... Look at one of your jackets, and the color is not... is usually not lined. The color is not l lined? I'm kind of basing this off a bomber jacket. I like what I like the look of those jackets. I should probably look at that for reference. Yeah, let me look at bomber jacket references after I finish this. The white might be a bit too intense. It could just be a lighter red. You're right. It could be a lighter red. The white is a bit too eye catching. I feel like lighter red is tricky to get right because often it just looks like pink and I feel like that clashes let's see yeah get back to work I'm already working <laughs> the power why why Almost looks like Santa just exploded. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me think about this. I'm focusing. Um. Hmm. Mm. Oh, whoops. Maybe I want to do the color the same color, though. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not sure. You were thinking of a Santa coat with the white and red too? <laughs> hey Kasems, hey good to see you again. How is it going? Thank you for the hydration. <sighs> Thank you very much. Let me have a quick peek at the bomber jackets. Why are they even called bomber jackets? Like, when I first heard the term bomber jackets, I thought it was like a terrorist thing. But they look cool. Let's see, let, let me show you what they look like. Nice. I like these jackets a lot. So they got this, this springy elastic part on the sleeves, 
a little bit on the on the, on the bottom as well and the collar. Here's a red one. What's oh, a leather bomber jacket? See, I don't want to do that though. I don't want to have black trimmings because that's too dark. Oh, you can also have the classic kind of stripey one. Nah, that's too much. Too much detail. You got the classic kind of uh, I like what's it called? High school. Hold on. Let me search. Let me search red bomber jacket. <laughs> okay, let's just get really specific now. Um, I mean, yeah, it just looks red. That's kind of what we have going on here a little bit. Like I said, that's stripes again, but the lighter trims. I mean, some of these look real basic. It's just, it's just red. Just red. Hey, L. Mekong. Hey, hello. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Because airplane bombers used to wear them. Oh, really? What makes what? What about these jackets is makes it for you know handy for a airplane bomber? There's got to be a better word for that. That also sounds like a terrorist thing. What are they called? Like the military ones, yeah. That reminds me as well. Do you know that t-shirts were invented by the military? Isn't that crazy? T-shirts? Hey Siri, tell me about whoops. Tell me about t-shirts and how the military invented them. Hey Siri, tell me about t-shirts and military. I found military and t-shirt. Well, thanks a lot, Siri. Thanks, thanks a goddamn lot. Okay, here we go. What's this? A t-shirt was in evolved from undergarments used in the 19th century and in the mid 20th century transitioned from undergarment to general use casual clothing. That's not helping my... Well, let's check out Wikipedia here real fast. Thank you, Master Black. Thank you very much. Thank you for the host. Welcome back. Let's see. I, I swear I was right. No, the earliest t-shirts date back to sometime between an 1898 Spanish-American War and 1904. Uh... In 1913, the U.S. Navy first issued them as undergarments. Uh... It became common for sailors and marines in work parties, the early submarines and tropical climates to remove their uniform jacket, thus wearing and soiling only the undershirt. Okay, I, was, I think I'm kind of right. I'm kind of right. Yuko. Yuko, gifting us up the master black. Yuko, thank you very much. Thank Yuko. Thank Yuko very much. Very generous of you, thank you. Uh, also, Benzine, welcome back as well. Good to see you. Sorry, I, 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 s I hope you haven't been sitting here for too long. Cause I, I just remember my brain saw your name and then I forgot to say hello. <laughs> uh, the gray accents look cool for your red bomber jacket. Gray accents, you reckon? Gray accents. Hmm. La 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 la, everyone. I'm gonna do something radical. What is this? <laughs> Whoa, hello. Hey! Hey! What's up? What's up? You're such a cutie pie. Oopsie boops. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. 
like a helicopter taking off. Such a cutie. One, two, three, four. Hey, Doctor Anethics dropping a gift sub. Hey, congrats, Vimlark. Getting that lucky gift sub there from from the doc. Thank you very much, Doctor Anethics. Ooh, drum roll. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. What's this? All right. Hey, Vimlark, good to see you. Congrats on that gift sub again. Every wall shines. Almost like Pace has a bit of camera shyness. Let's see here. Uh oh, yo yo, bad news, bad now, news. Here's your host. What's this? Tipper Wolf, thank you for the host. The spider's broken. I wrote load spider, got it, but there was no spider on screen. I went back and looked at the footage. No spider would be found, so it was maybe lost outside of the bounds. Ah, that could very well happen. If the spider gets spawned, like, near the border, I feel like the spider gets spawned between this corner and, like, where Copy is right now. Hey, Sam, man, hello, hello. The spider gets spawned between these two hands, and then it randomly moves. And I guess it could move, like, randomly off screen, and then it's just, it becomes a hard-to-find spider. Possibly could happen, but uh, yeah, I think that might have been the case. Intentional, not a bug. Oh, oh. likes the deep scratches. Oh. All right. <sighs> Back to work. I feel like he looks like Ronald McDonald right now with this mustard ketchup combo. Let's change it up. Can't be blue. Blue is too similar to the puddle. Can't be green. Too similar to the foliage. Yellow? Who wears a yellow jacket? Uh, I, I'm just going back to red, I guess. If I look at my previous comic, we, ha we do have a, a very similar comic, but a completely different color scheme. Um, we had a look at it yesterday, but it's called... Hey! Yeah, get back in here. Trying to escape. Oh, cool, cool move. Such a B. See? Copy is the problem child here. Pace is cool. Pace just chilling here. Copy is the, the, the problem. Always. You're the problem! Yeah. Okay, what am I looking at? Yeah, look, look at this jacket. Gray and then red trimmings. Looks pretty good there, and he has blue underneath. But it's kind of different, because in my one, in my new one, I don't know why I'm saying my one, they're both my ones. The new, the new one, he has to look kind of naked, I think. I don't think, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I like that he looks like he's wearing the undershirt. And therefore, this should be more eye-catching. To be honest, I think red just looks fine. What am I? What am I doing? What am I doing? Maybe a bit more of a desaturated, slightly darker red for the trimmings. 
Yeah, I think I think that's good. Just slightly, slightly different, and the inside can be like quite dark. I think that looks good. Well, like looks good enough. I think it's fine. Uh, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Where do I go? Oh yeah, let's do this as well. The splash water uh, droplets. Color those in. Oh. Splish. Oh, so another thing is I don't know if we want to get crazy with the details here, but technically when the jacket gets wet, it gets darker, so do we do something about that? Half my brain is dedicated to looking to make sure that copy is not going to jump out. You're over goosening the loose. You need to loosen the goose. Redeemed Lucy Goosey. Yes, I, am, I, I need to be more Lucy Goosey. Agreed. But how about this, though? Look at this. If I use a, my washi joshi brush, make it. Oh god, that looks terrible. Don't look at this. Not my washi joshi. I'm just gonna get my soft, softy, softy wafty brush. No, nope, that looks terrible. Make it harder. Okay, it actually wouldn't be too wet at this one. Maybe this one. Maybe this is not necessary. But you know what I'm going for, like the, like that kind of wet, wet, damp clothing. But now it just looks dirty. Eh, kind of. You can see what I mean, though. Huh? In movies, Yellow Jacket individuals have bad tragedies. Example, Georgie from the movie It and Coraline from the movie Coraline. Huh, I didn't know that was a thing. Yellow Jackets leading to bad endings. Georgie, a Georgie. Get back to work! Technically, that's like a raincoat, not a jacket. Gotta get back to work now. Hmm. Also, Henry, I like that he's kind of a dirty, washed with not so much color shirt. It fits the character portrayed here. Oh yeah, I like that too. Um, now what to do? What to do? What to do? What to do? If I'm keeping this ground. This the background line color should be a dark gray blue. Ooh, ooh. Wait, what am I doing? Where's... Sweet. Just doing this a little bit. Um, not sure. This is really necessary. Just a little bit, maybe. Eh, that kind of works. Subtle. Subtle, 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 kind of subtle. Yeah, hey, I think it's time for dialogue, right? Hey, Sheba Socks, back to catch the end of the stream. Nice. Welcome back, Sheba Socks. Let's do a dialogue. Also, how, how are we feeling about this kind of damp, wet sort of look here? I might try what it 
see what it looks like if I didn't use a soft brush, but actually a hard brush. Is that crazy? That's crazy. I'm a crazy man. That looks terrible. Never mind. I'll keep it. Oh my god. Hey, Yuko, catching that spider. Nice, 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 Yuko. Yeah, if we do a dialogue, does that mean we're like done? And that means tomorrow is a Zelda stream? It would be nice to play some more Zelda. Because we, Lord knows, we gotta get through that game. I think I bought that game in, in 2020. Pretty sure I bought Zelda. We started playing Zelda in 2020, October. And we still have only done two Divine Beasts. I may possibly be the slowest streamer on Twitch. The slowest art streamer, the slowest game streamer. Also, that reminds me, the new Mario Kart DLC is coming out uh, this month, in like a couple of weeks. So, uh, be keen to play that. Play with subs and stuff. It would be fun. Okay, let's do dialogue. And tomorrow, titles? Yeah, that's, that's, that sounds good, Yo Yoda. Let's finish the dialogue, and then tomorrow we can do titles and then Zelda. That might be good. Because we don't, I don't think we have time to do the dialogue and titles today. Um, yeah. I will see, we'll see. Let's just get the dialogue first. Play by ear. Graphics-wise, the DLC in Mario Kart is kind of lacking the power. Um, I've only seen the trailer once, so I don't really give it too much attention, but I do agree I was a little, like, not super, like, blown away by the look of the maps. But I'm just so starved for Mario Kart content that I'll, I'll take anything. I'll take what I can get. Sarah man, you haven't even seen the comic reveal yet? Oh my god. Sarah man, more like Sarah Madman. Bow, bow. No, no, nothing can bring nothing can bring me down. This is a really good song. Probably the latest killer song that I really like. I first heard it in that trailer for the movie Vice. I haven't seen the movie, but uh I really like the song they chose. Who's the man? Who's the man? Who's the man? Who's the man, Who's the man with the plan? I'm the man. Sarah Man. Yeah, this could be Sarah Man's song. Sarah Man. Sheepersock saying this saves me a trip to the laundromat implies that the jacket is the only article of clothing he owns, which I find very funny. I could also suggest a bonus panel where he brings a cart of laundry and some quarters to the puddle. <sighs> That's pretty good, actually. I could see that happening. Alright, everyone else, forget what you just heard. Wait, look at- stare into the thing. Beep! Flash! Flash of light. Flash of light. I, I like how I'm using my skin to- to emphasize pure white here. 
You did not, you did not uh, just hear what the bonus panel may or may not be. You were enjoying a, a nice casual loading artist comic stream, and uh, you were looking forward to tomorrow's stream, which may include a lot of Zelda. There we go. Where's my shades? Got that as well. <laughs> what should I forget? Excellent, Casings. Perfect response. Uh, the new job is not only being boring, it's also finishing later for me. But your, your new job, Sarah Man? New job is not only being boring, it's also finishing later for me. Wait, this sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> oh dear. Also, Quiet Eyes, you like that song too? It reminds you of when you'd go cycling last year and listen to the song? Are you sure you're listening to my playlist and not yours? <laughs> But yeah, no, it's a good, it is a good, I, I can see it being a good cycling song. Very upbeat. Actually, I'm going to do this normal size and I'll, I'll make it bolder later. Whoa. Whoa. I held up. Before I continue here, Dax got something. Dax got something up his sleeve. Let's see. I'm curious. What is this? What is this? Oh man, another another very old school comic to be basing this on. Uh, uh oh. What? Your comic's page views is slowing down quite a lot. Probably because you take so long to post a new comic. <sighs> I hoped it wouldn't have to come to this. Not this soon. <gasps> I see where this is going. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Grabs the cat. Oh! Smack! <laughs> Garf. You are a character now. Page views are up 400%. <laughs> that, is done, that is done too well, Dak. Far too well. Love it. This works perfectly. I like this. I like the Garf. And uh, this is perfect. How, how, did you find a, how did you find the Garfield that was looking exactly in this direction? Don't tell me you drew this. I don't believe that for a second. How'd you find this? How did you even Google it? Like, Garfield turning his head three quarters, looking away? Perfect, though. Very perfect. And this is such an old comic. 2011 again. Look at, look at these characters. Jesus Christ. Look at the eyes. His eyes look like two sperms, just like, deciding to part ways. My god. You googled Garfield back? Oh, is that it? Oh, perfect. <laughs> very good deck. Thank you very much. Blast from the past over there. Show us the original. I'm curious now. Uh, what was it called? I think it's called... Emer emergency? Nope. Oops, I don't even know the... Command. Is it emergency? Hold on. Oh, uh, is this it? Oh, it is. Oh my God. <laughs> what the coming point to me? Yeah, is this this is the original. Similar, very similar. Breaks that thing, and it's just a, it's just a cat. And that's it. But you wouldn't even be able to tell because it's such a seamless. Such a seamless uh, change there. Um, Dak, I spent so much time on that that it's midnight now and I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Alright. Have a good one, Dak. Take care. Sleep well. Hope the, the bed Daks don't bite. Hope the bed bugs don't Dak. God, I'm, I am butchering these, these rhymes tonight. <laughs> Take care and congrats again on the new job. Uh, 
Uh, what's this also? Um, a Saruman. Honestly, I'll whoops. Honestly, I'll probably not keep that job for too long. The thing is that they're the only place that accepted me in my new city. The pay is good. I am much overqualified, and they have a lot of trouble hiring new people. So no chance they'll fire me. I'll just endure the boring parts until I find a more interesting job. Well, that sounds sounds good for now. Then I guess Saruman. Maybe you could uh you could do one of those things where, if it's like a a boring mundane job that you could maybe like code up a automated system and let the robots do the work for you and just take the credit for it. I heard about this. I saw saw someone post about it on Reddit. And they had that job for years. I think at first, like, I think at first he even mentioned it to his superiors that this could, that this work could be done with this, like, I don't know, this code that he coded up. But they didn't listen to him or something like that, so he just I think it was some sort of like data entry input thing, and uh, just sat back and collected the paychecks for years and years. Oh, the alerts are poised. Whoops. Oh my goodness! My name Sorry, the alerts are poised. Oh no! Hey, Mr. Blu-ray. Mr. Blu-ray. Wait. Wait, what's it? How's it go? Looking at me. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Mr. Blu-ray, would you say that and day working over me? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I'm butchering that song. I'm thinking, I'm trying to think of Mr. Postman, but Mr. Blu-ray, thank you very much for the raid. Give me some art, will you? Hope you had a good stream. What stream were you working on? I mean, what art were you working on? And also, don't look at this. I'll show you what comic we're working on today. Or rather, this week. Here is the comic, if you're interested. Um, it will be kind of weird if you weren't interested. You read the stream and you're like, Actually, this doesn't interest me at all. This is boring. <laughs> Alright, here it is. First panel. Wait! Hmm? Hmm? Whoa! Such a gentleman! Whoa! What are you doing? This is saving me a trip to the laundromat. Hey, yeah. Uh, can't I can't do the signful thing because it's copyrightable, but you get the gist. I should just record my own take on the signful theme song and just play that instead. I should. I'm getting better at it every time I do it. I'm like a pro beatboxer, but the only thing I can beatbox is the Seinfeld theme song. <laughs> uh, Unpause alerts. Dr. Unethics, 100 bits. Welcome, Raiders. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Unethics. And uh, yes, welcome, Raiders. Welcome. Welcome to the Loading Artist stream. Mr. Blu ray. Nice, I love your art, that's why I rated you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you! And you were drawing your character, Newton. Nice. Wait, Newton. Newt. I think I... New... Newton. Excellent. Comic character? Cartoon character? I'll play the signful thing backwards. Ooh, I wonder what the signful theme, theme song sounds like backwards, I wonder. I was about to try and do it myself. I can't do it at all. I can't even spell things backwards. Okay, I gotta get back to work. Let's do it. That's one thing I can do backwards. Back to work. Work to back. There we go. Uh, 
This is saving. Thank you for the focus there. For reminding me that I, uh, I'm looking forward to, to leaving for lunch. Although that coffee did kind of fill up my uh, stomach for a bit. Uh, trip. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, hey, we got the sauce. Thank you for, for coming with that raid. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be playing Zelda tomorrow, for sure. We will just... I'm going to finish the dialogue today. That'll be the end for the stream. And then tomorrow we'll do comic titles, and then jump into Zelda. I think that'll be nice. And... What's more, we're going to start on the next Divine Beast, if I remember correctly. We're going to be working on getting the flying one out of the sky. Because uh, we, we landed in that bird kind of town or something, and there's that big Divine Beast flying above them. So we'll, yeah, that's what we'll be doing in, t in tomorrow's Zelda stream. Very exciting. It'll be our third Divine Beast. Ugh. Oh. It's pretty good. Yeah, there. Make it a little bit bigger, maybe. Big and italic. Wait! Also, um... Also, wait, what is this to power? Remember when you did everything in just two day streams? I used to do, I think I used to do the comics in one stream. Did I not? In like one eight hour stream or something, eight to ten hours, nonstop, finish the comic from sketch to finish. Those are some crazy, crazy ass streams. I was a younger man back then. I don't have, I don't have that, that jive in me anymore. That was a those were insane. And what's even more insane, there were people that would s sit and watch the entire thing. <laughs> I think yeah, I had to stop doing those streams more, more because of you guys' sake. Thinking about your health. <laughs> when you were still alive when I got up again in the morning? Yeah, that, that was a crazy time, Super Tux. Crazy, crazy times. Also, oh, second manly. This is a really bad edit, but I still find it funny. Let's check it out. <laughs> what the hell is this? Thank you very much, second manly. I can't tell. Did did Garfield break out of this window, or is Garfield flying into the window? I don't even know what's going on here. But thank you very much. Thank you very much for that psych humanity. Oh, oh, I live below Garfield's. Oh, I see. Garfield has exited the window and he's falling. And I'm like, what the hell's falling? I see. I get it now. Immersive. Man, this picture took me so long to do. I was just looking at those bricks. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy.
changing the songs. Oh, someone caught the spider. Psychomanity. Nice, nice, nice. One of this. Whoa. Still don't know my name. Ah. Still don't know my name. Yep. Still don't know my name. Mew, mew, mew. I move this over. I'd like to see if I can get the edge of the speech bubble here visible. And if I can, do I have no space? Let's see if I can fit that text over. Still don't know my name. Yep. Still don't know my name. Your name is Gregor! <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, Exocomics. Oh, uh, I can... You gotta get used to saying that, Exocomics, as I age. Because, uh... I'm definitely gonna be losing my mind. Definitely have that, uh... Dementia waiting for me. I'm not even waiting. I swear I'm losing my mind over time. What's up, copy? What's going on? Huh? Yeah. What are you thinking? Hmm? What are you thinking? What are you thinking about? Hey! Hey! What are you, what are you thinking about? Hey! Hey! What's up? You wanna come over here? You wanna come over here? Ooh. Ooh. What is this? <laughs> I am not I'm not tricking her. Nothing gets past copy. Copy's too smart. Hey, what's this? It's a little thing with Jiggy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Eh. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's just like She's just, she's done with me. She's like, when you when you're ending this goddamn stream, I'm hungry. It's lunchtime. <laughs> Licking her lips. Yeah, soon, very soon. Like, give me like ten minutes. Jesus Christ. All right. Exocomics, why do I have to look after you? I. Because, because. It's the right thing to do, and I would do the same for you. Also, I would I'd probably take over your Exocomics IP, change it into a Loading Artist spin-off comic series, profit off your hard work, but I would also take care of you once you lose your mind.
gonna change the song here. Uh, okay, we're almost done. Almost done here. Gonna do the, the balloon tails now. Oh my god, what am I doing? Hey! That's pretty good. It's just a little too fat. Ah, that's, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of the white layer, don't need that. And, uh... Make this a lot bigger. This needs to be bigger and more bold. Bigger, polar, slantier, bigger, faster, harder, stronger. No, no. No, it's not bigger. It's like better, oh, better, faster, harder, stronger. Better, faster, harder, stronger. Yeah. Actually, I might make this... A not so huge. I'm gonna make the whoa whoa bigger, but the bottom text could be just a little bit bigger. But not too big. There we go. And then the whoa whoa. Whoa 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 whoa. Take that. Whoa 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 whoa. Whoa whoa whoa. Whoa whoa whoa. I don't like that it's touching the top here, so I'm gonna make that a little bit shorter. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? And the sketch off. Yeah. Maybe even angle it a little bit. For that more emphasis of instability, chaos, all that good stuff. This should be moved over to the middle. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Also, uh, Raven Moon, you need to get the cats a laser pointer. Your cats love it. Oh, oh, oh! I know. I got the I got the laser pointer. The laser pointer ran out of batteries. <laughs> I need to get more batteries for that laser pointer. Too weak now. Can't even see it in the daylight. Psychomanity, you gotta go to class. I can catch you later. Psychomanity, have a good one. And uh, on that note. I think I'm pretty much done for today. Pretty much done. I think it's looking all right. There's a few things I might probably tweak before I post it um, tomorrow night, but uh, for the most part, I think it's pretty much there. Yeah, some some tweaks, some polish, some spider. Um, but for the most part, I think it's. I'd say that's a wrap. I'd say that's a wrap. Which means tomorrow, tomorrow's stream will be comic titles and Z -Z -Z Zelda. It's pretty much a full Get Zelda stream. What the hell? Let's do it. What are you doing to me, Depower? What the hell are you doing to me? I'm just saying, <laughs> saying I'm done for the day, and now I gotta focus on more work. Hmm. 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 Let me have a look here. Let me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Focusing so hard on this thing, oh yeah, oh yeah, bag, you know, look at this, pretty good, yep, 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 hmm, 
what else am I missing? It's a good point. I mean, I could be focusing on seeing if there's any glaring things I've forgotten. Nope. Clouds, maybe. Eh, I see BF. I can't, I can't be arsed right now. The only thing on my mind right now is lunch. Yeah. Was drowned there. I pushed the wrong button. What fault? New character. Hope that's, that, that's that looks quite a bit different, right? I hope with the body and the body's definitely different too. Pretty sure. Are they both holding a phone? Ah, uh, there's a big glaring mistake in the top right corner. Top right corner. What oh, mistake? The hair? Is it? Oh, I mean, I have the hair. The hair goes over. Bobby. Whoops. <laughs> I'm done with your shit. Whoops. How did I do that? Uh... There we go. I've got to push numlock and then the whole thing is different. Either way, that works. Thank you very much. Also, Viper, welcome to the stream. And thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Unfortunately, I'm just about to wrap up today's stream. Um... Yes. Background shading, Lady Inertia? Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I might do. Though I think recently I've been experimenting with uh, keeping the background sort of minimal. Not because I'm lazy. But, uh... Let me show you, I think... Oh, then again, the most recent... Well, the most recent Outdoors comic... Oh yeah, it has no, no background shading, look at that. I was about to correct myself, but, uh, nope, that works. Same with, um, the last comic. Like, this is also a similar one. No background shading. Although we have cities, cityscape, but the bushes are all plain. Also, I kind of like that ground. I think I might like that better. Kind of looks like the one from Plucked Up a bit more. Yeah. I might make it look more like this, perhaps. Yeah. Either clouds or a cityscape, and then the, the ground maybe not concrete, but the other thing. But the problem is, I need to make it somewhat dark because I want the puddle to stand out. Anyway. Saruman, what the fuck? You added a panel to the frog documentary comic? Uh, I sure did. I sure did. Um. Pretty radical change, I know. Whoops. Um, because yeah, I I was only working on the first four panels in the stream, but then I had this in mind for the bonus panel. But then in the last minute, I was like, "Does it make the main comic better to have the bonus panel part of the thing?" So I I added the bonus panel as part of the main comic and came up with something else for the bonus panel. Um. By the way, all, all Twitch subs have access to bonus panels. Just click this button right here. And, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, it's less subtle, but I like it. And it makes it a bit more different from the previous comic, where the punchline is also someone, you know, asking a question that the other person said. You know? Documentary. What? Right? So, out of that. Show the bonus panel in pixelated mode. <laughs> too, 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 too spoilery. Or is it? Let me see. Maybe I, maybe I will. Maybe I will. What could the bonus panel be? Hey, hey. Uh. 
Uh, uh, wait, this is... Oh! What could it be, huh? What it could be? Bonus panel. Woo! Only for subs, only for patrons. So check that out. That and many more. A lot of the time the bonus panels are actually even multiple panels. Anyways. One of those is so wrong. <laughs> only one? I think I know which one you're talking about, the panel. But yes, anyways. Um... Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I'm going to turn the music off now for the Discorders. Uh, thank you for listening. And uh, start the music on stream again. Like so. All right. Also, a little, little uh, detail. I don't know if anyone noticed. Up in the corner there. It doesn't say listen to the music on Discord anymore because the music is playing on stream. How did I do that? Not as advanced as you think. I know but some people are probably thinking, like, does it detect if music is playing on stream? And no, it's, it's not, not like that. Basically, it's like if Pretzel is playing music, then crop off the bottom bit. Pretty neat. No, that, that's all me, baby. It's all me. Although Nicholas Spire did give me the, uh, the power of finding out which song, or which app is playing the song. So, it's a joint effort between Nicholas Spire and I. Mostly Nicholas Spire. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, say goodbye to the comic. Wave, wave goodbye to it, and uh, let's jump over here. This is not the right kind of song, is it? And I hate the pretzel app. Pretzel app is so bad. I'm just trying to scroll through and it's clicking random shit. God damn! How is it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Whatever. Time to say goodbye. Tomorrow? We'll do comic titles, and then jump into Zelda. I'll see you then. For now, let's go raid. I'm gonna get ready for a raid. Uh, I'll type in the command soon. So send the next person some loading eyes love, and I'll see you all in the next stream tomorrow. We'll be raiding. Let's raid. I don't believe we've ever raided this person before. Let's raid the sea rabbit. Uh, they're doing some drawing and talking, making their next YouTube video. So uh, let's go send the Sea Rabbit some loading eyes love. Thank you very much for, for joining us. And uh, until next time, goodbye. See you in like 20 hours. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is this song? Let me change the song. <laughs>